Okay, let's take a look at another one. Let's say we had 15 x to the seventh power minus seven, and this is over x squared minus nine. So again, I wanna look at my denominator here, and that's x squared minus nine, and I wanna set that equal to zero, and I wanna find out what the restricted values are. So x squared minus nine equals zero. So a lot of you at this point should recognize that this right here, difference of two squares. Because if I look here, this is x squared, and then if I look at this nine here, nine is really three squared. Okay, so if I kind of notice that right off the bat, it's easy to factor this, right? I'm gonna factor this into x plus three times x minus three, and this equals zero, and then I'm gonna use my zero factor property here and set each of these factors equal to zero. So x plus three equals zero, and x minus three equals zero. And again, I can solve these by inspection. I know that the first one here, negative three plus three would give me zero, so the solution here is x equals negative three. And then down here, x minus three equals zero, I know the solution is positive three. So I have my restricted values. It's gonna be negative three and positive three. Okay, negative three and positive three. Let me scroll up here and we'll just write that x cannot be equal to negative three, x cannot be equal to three. Okay, because again, when you substitute those values in for x, you're gonna end up with a denominator that's zero and that's not allowed. Let's take a look at one more. And this is just one I want you to understand in case you get it as a trick question on a test. At this point, if you get something like 6x squared minus 17 over 2x squared plus 1, you may or may not understand how to deal with it. So if you get this and you kind of go about your normal procedure and you say, okay, I want 2x squared plus 1, I want to set that equal to 0. 2x squared plus 1 equals 0. Well, I told you before that we've only dealt with solving quadratic equations that we could factor and we can't factor 2x squared plus one, okay? So what we can do is kind of think about this at this point. I'm not gonna go through and subtract one from both sides and, and go through the procedure of trying to solve this because right off the bat, one thing that you can note is that, okay, well this term right here is squared. So if I think about the numbers that I can plug in, if I plug in a negative number and I square it, it's gonna be positive, okay? And then a positive times this positive two would give me a positive, then plus one would give me a positive. So for sure, if I plug in a negative number here, okay, any negative number, I'm gonna end up with a number that is positive. Okay, it's going to be greater than zero. If I plug in a positive number, it's the same thing. So this two x squared plus one is never gonna be equal to zero, okay? So when you get something like this, your rational expression doesn't have any values for which is undefined. So just pay attention to something like this because you might get it as a trick question on a test.